the ubiquitous nature of apathy. Apathy is a quandary of our times. It's everywhere, in our homes, in our workplaces, and in our communities. Apathetic individuals seem to have infiltrated every corner of our society. From the highest echelons of power to the lowest rungs of society. Despite the magnitude of this issue, there seems to be a certain level of apathy when it comes to addressing the problem. Those who are erudite enough to recognize the negative impact of apathy often find themselves at a loss. Unsure of how to effectively combat its widespread influence. One of the most insidious aspects of apathy is its ability to ostracize those who refuse to conform to its destructive ways. The sycophants who thrive in apathetic environments often create an insular, closed-off community, excluding anyone who doesn't share their views. This exclusion can lead to feelings of loneliness and exacerbate the already present sense of ennui that often plagues those who are disaffected. Despite the overwhelming number of people who suffer from apathy, there are some auspicious signs that things might be changing. There has been a recent movement to disseminate information and knowledge about the harmful effects of apathy, in the hopes that people will become more aware of the insidious nature of this issue. It is important to recognize that everyone has their own idiosyncrasies. But when those idiosyncrasies become toxic to society as a whole, it becomes a paradox. We must be gregarious and reciprocal in our efforts to combat apathy, understanding that we are all in this together. While it may seem daunting to tackle such a ubiquitous issue, we must remember that every action we take, no matter how small, has the potential to create positive change. The more we can shine a light on the perniciousness of apathy, the more likely we are to bring about the kind of transformative change that can lead to a brighter, more illuminative future for all.